are gathered here to celebrate the amazing life of Biggie A, a man of few words, but many noises. He made immeasurable contributions to the felony-worthy musical group widely known as the NARS. He came from a house, a house full of people, people who had no idea of his craft, a craft so artistic and pristine only the most renowned individuals could have their ears blessed by his creation. With that being said, let us have a moment of silence to pay our respects for this musical oddity and his forgettable career. Oh my God, he's back! I was young, I wanted to be him, but in order to be him, I needed to eat her, and so I would do to her what I do to pizza, I was going to eat the Mona Lisa. I traveled to France and went to the Louvre, but first things first, I took a big poo, I pulled down my pants feeling utter doom, and all the guards heard was a massive boom. But once they got there, the damage was done, and I had the Mona Lisa and was on the run, one bite after another, the time was now. The Mona Lisa tasted like chicken kung pao. I fled to Taiwan and changed my identity. They'll never find me because of my new identity. Now that I've eaten the Mona Lisa, my next target is the Tower of Pisa. <laughs> And then Biggie A died a mysterious death, again. Dolphins are the only animal other than humans known to pay for sex.